This is one way to start off a day. Oh my god. Holy shit, that is a giant waterfall. That's extremely impressive. That's like insanely impressive. Look at that. Dude, that is so crazy. Well, we're gonna be trying to go fishing again today. Uh, we might be running into a little bit of issues because it rained so much last night that the water could be, I guess, muddied up. I guess we'd call it muddied up, but it's from all the snow melting. Apparently snow really dirties up the water when it gets melted, so. God, I just can't, like look at that, look how impressive this is. This is so crazy. It's so beautiful, so. All right, let's go check and see what this, uh, oh my. Sorry about the water. Holy crap, there's already a ton on here. Damn it. This is kind of disappointing. We drove all the way over here, an extra hour north of today, and uh, the water is supposed to be like a like a turquoise blue color, and it looks like Texas, looks like the Red River right now. Except for the scenery, the scenery is absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at this. So I guess all the uh, all the other rivers are blown out today. Uh, this was the only fishable river in the area, um, and it's not fishable once we come and take a look at it because it's supposed to be like a crystal clear color. And these steelhead, they uh, they feed on sight. They're kind of like I guess they're kind of like a barracuda. They 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 see what they eat and then they go after it. And the water when the water clarity is like this, hey, you're not going to catch anything. So I got to figure out how to get back up. And we're actually like this is an actual this thing this is like the only rainforest in the united states is this one right here and it's crazy damn i'll give you guys the uh the bird's eye view from the bridge So now it's me and John up here in Seattle for uh, two more days with zero plan. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to see the world record spruce tree because, or yeah, Sika spruce tree. Because I've never seen one this big. Apparently it's as big as the car we rented. I would assume that's not it. I mean, look, look, look how freaking awesome this is. Look at this. I don't know how this place stays so green even when it gets so cold up here. I don't thank God I have on very good thermals in multiple layers of sweatpants and sweatshirts. Like, look, <laughs> I don't know. I used to live here. I just kind of forgot like how awesome this place is. Like, look how beautiful that is. It's crazy. Where the hell is this damn tree? And where the hell is John? I think there's any smallmouth in here. Oh, look how clear this water. It's pretty good though, honestly. This one looks pretty clear. This is kind of reminds me of one of those trees from Africa. This is, uh, all right, so here's the tree that we actually, I walked all the way down here for, me and John did. And it's a world's largest spruce tree, 191 foot tall. It's 191 foot tall. It's a thousand years old, 58 foot in circumference. Holy shit. 
<laughs> it's a thousand year old tree. Look at this. Well, if we're not fishing, we come find giant trees apparently. My, my, my lens probably looks horrible, but dude, go up there and just look. Go and look up, John. Just go look up at it. Just look at the look at look how big John is in comparison to this tree. That is enough, but this tree. Sorry about the water in the lens. It is uh, of course it's raining because we're in rainforest. I've said that like 40 times. We have no plans for the day, so you guys are gonna kind of uh, find out where we end up. Yeah. No no hotel either. We have no hotel. We have a rental car though. All right, you gotta get the gotta get a running start to get through this one. So this is actually turning into one of those episodes that I did the other day when I was in Florida, except uh, we're going to be going after trout and bass. We're going to go basically, I don't want to call it pond hopping, but it's lake, hopping. it's pond hopping, but it's lake hopping, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, we're going to go over these places. The first one we're going to go to is actually the one that I first, the first place I ever fished in my entire life. Let's see if we can catch some trout. But first, we got to go to a tackle store. I'm sure that audio a second ago was very crisp, but the first place we're going to go is, is the lake I caught my first trout and actually first ever fished in my entire life. We've got to make a stop here at the legendary uh, bass of the pro shops. You find anything? No. No, I want to hear this. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, Texas rig. Now look, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this, one, this is pretty much all I'm end up getting. This is it. I actually feel pretty comfortable. Got some hooks for this. A couple of rooster tails. Most of my bass stuff's already in the car because I bought some at uh, in Florida. So I think I'm gonna roll with this. Maybe like a wacky rig, a net rig. I didn't throw a net rig the other day, so we're gonna do that. Also, there's like 60 mile an hour winds, so it should be quality audio and really easy to throw uh, weightless Senkos. Let me tell you what. Grab some two. Dude, I think you should trout fish for this, man. I really do. Um, our, two piece. Here we go. We're good. This is what happens when you forget every one of your rods at the house. I just thought we were going to go salmon fishing. Huh? Freaking, what is this? Episode 8 bass and dude? We're in Washington fishing for a large amount of bass. Caught your fish on one of those. I did catch my fish on one of these. They don't say. I need. Uh, do I need one of these? Should I get one? I don't know. Why not? Oh God, these are on sale too. See, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. When the hell did Bass Pro Shops turn into like a shopping mall for clothes? That's like 90% of the store now is 100% clothes. 90. That didn't make any sense. Damn it, the moon pies are on sale too. Dude, oh, so good. I love moon pies. We're off. We'll let uh let John drive this little car for a little. Woo! Sure about that? <laughs> wow. I told you this car's got a this car's got oh, a little, I know. This car's got a little bit of oomph in it. Oh legal weed. No medical car needed. No, he was going. <laughs> <laughs> they were geeking out. Really? Oh, yeah. The whole channel, I can quit. Channel is the done. last video you'll ever I, see. Yeah, I, I'm just going to see you guys at the lake. Oh, dude. Well, there's the 180 on us. I know, it's really nice here. You know, it's really nice here. This is, uh, I used to. I used to come here and go swimming when I was a kid. I never actually fished this lake, so this should be kind of, this should be kind of interesting. Getting out of this car is like getting out of like a small, Dude, it's, so hard. it's like getting out of a go-kart. Dude, I haven't even checked to see if my rods have broke in the, uh, Oh, from the, from the trip. Would you fly Delta? Yeah, they've got Because then you won't have any tips. <laughs> Delta breaks rods easy. Here, an M4 roll by. Oh, do you want your phone? It's in there. The weather is like a, uh, like, I would call this like a one, it's like a, it's a 180. Like it's, oh, it's actually nice here. Let's rock and let's roll. This pump is freaking. I don't know. Windy. I know we just, we just jinxed ourselves. Hey guys, the weather's real nice in the parking lot. Get out in the lake and it's a tsunami. What the heck? 
I actually banged my head on the ground right here trying to impress a girl. God, this is so weird seeing this stuff. I didn't have this nice rubber stuff when I... Oh! 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 Oh, no! Well, time to get some new shoes. I'm looking out for today. Oh, damn it. I was wondering what you were doing, dude. I, saw I didn't see it. I was looking up. Gosh, God. damn it. Yeah, I know. This is nice and bouncy. What are these? They're like little toilets. Little toilets? <laughs> Hey, it's oh. terrible out. Oh, we must have been hiding from the wind because this sounds uh Yeah, we were for sure hiding. This is this isn't good. Oh my. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Gosh dang it. Well Well whatever, make the best. The conditions are a lot worse than we actually were saying in the parking lot. Look how flooded this lake is. This dock's not supposed to be doing this. Stay. No, it's trailing. Oh no, no wind. Oh, we're about to have a huge issue here. No, this one's gone. Damn it. All right, switching up to the pink one. I only got one more after this, and it was that one I bought on sale. I didn't think I was gonna be losing too many of these. This wind is freaking just horrible. Let's go see if we can find John real quick. He took off somewhere. I don't know where the hell he's at. They need to open up their lockers all right now. Thanks for. Oh, that's somebody's house. I thought there was another dock I can get on. Gee, this this spot of shot, I guess. This bottom looks amazing. It's this water is really not that bad. Clarity, but the wind is just. The wind's pretty strong. I just realized I've been throwing like a. This rooster tail is made for probably like creeks or something. This is like really small and light. I didn't really think that one through when I picked it up. Well, the first stop didn't pan out too well. The wind is just horrendous. I think this next lake I'm going to take them to is, uh, the, the wind should be okay because it's, it's surrounded by trees. But I'm going to be honest with you, this is, uh, this, the lake that I'm about to take him to and show you guys is the very first place I ever fished, like ever in my life. I already showed you guys the place where I learned how to fish, but this one was the first place I ever caught a fish. And yeah, it's the first place I ever fished. It's like a little tiny dirt road with a, with a very small body of water. So let's uh, head over there. I'm sure John's ready to get out of this freaking wind. I'll tell you what. I don't know how many more door, door shutting scenes I can do, but there's another one for you guys. Oh, never gets old. Never gets old. That's the why this is This is... This is the spot where I actually, this is it. This is all we got from here to here, the fish. This is where I caught my first fish and this is where we, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I tell you what, a lot of moving from bank to bank here. You got from one fence line to the other, a lot of casting room. A lot of, a lot of different techniques you can do here. I meant, no, it's a real small spot, dude. Yeah. No, I, I can see that, not totally, 100%. At some point we probably need to get a hotel for tonight too. Oh yeah, hotel's key, yeah. yeah. All right. Hopefully this thing shuts right now. Oh, God, what was that? oh. Whose rod was there's that? a rod tip. Broke? No, it's fine. Why won't you shut? What is what is making it to where you won't shut? Will you shut? <laughs> All right, we're good. Well, I want to be honest with you guys. That was a uh, more of an epic fail than I was actually anticipating. I, I feel like when I was younger, probably around Parrick's age, like 10 to 11 or so, I really thought that that lake was like one of the most badass places I ever could fish. But then I, now that I'm looking back on it, I was 10 or 11 and that was the only place I ever fished. Yeah, I take a left right here. But it's all good, you know what? John gets to uh, experience this type of, uh, this, y'all struggle that live up here in Washington, all these really tiny, <coughs> tiny lakes and it's everything's so private. But you know what? We got a plan for tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, for the most part, yeah, we do. 
we, we do. We will find we, a plan. We're going to find a plan. But this, today's day just got completely just kind of thrown out the window whenever the, uh, the weather kind of blew us out. So, but yeah, you're going to take is a left. It? Whoa, that's crazy, <laughs> no, dude. This isn't it. This isn't it. Is that up there? No, take a left. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that was... Well, today's video was kind of, I don't want to call it random, but it was very, very random, but it's all good. You know why? Because we're going to do it again tomorrow. Well, not the randomness, but we're going to go fishing tomorrow and the next day. But today was completely just thrown out of the water. I mean, just, just thrown out the window of the water doesn't make any sense because of the water. The water that we went to go fish was completely like brown. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you guys will see, like I was just watching that video and the water clarity when we were there was like almost the color of the shirt and then we went back today and it was like the color of this this, this bag so yeah that kind of sucks but it doesn't really matter you know why because they're still in washington we're gonna try to go hit some fish tomorrow and uh, i don't know why i'm being repetitive so you know what that's the end of this video i'm going to continue to to not keep fishing never stop i'll see you guys